They've been seen entering court hand in hand, but now it appears there may be a big legal split between Senator Menendez and his wife, Nadine. The senator's possible defense was filed in secret with a federal judge. Today, that document is now public after the news media fought to get it unsealed. And in those documents, the senator's legal team writes that if the senator takes the stand, his story will clear himself, but that story could implicate his wife, Nadine. While the senator's explanations and the marital communications on which they rely will tend to exonerate Senator Menendez by demonstrating the absence of any improper intent on Senator Menendez's part, they may inculpate Nadine by demonstrating the ways in which she withheld information from Senator Menendez or otherwise led him to believe that nothing unlawful was taking place. Menendez and his wife are accused of accepting tens of thousands in cash and gold bars from three New Jersey businessmen in what prosecutors say was a wide-ranging bribery scheme. In exchange, the FBI says the New Jersey Democrat used his office to help the businessmen with deals overseas, as well as to try to interfere with separate criminal investigations related to two of the businessmen. This was a past explanation the senator gave as to why he and his wife had so much cash in his home. For 30 years, I have withdrawn thousands of dollars in cash from my personal savings account, which I have kept for emergencies and because of the history of my family facing confiscation in Cuba. Now, this may seem old-fashioned. The senator, his wife, and two businessmen have pleaded not guilty. A third pleaded guilty and is now cooperating. That businessman, Jose Uribe, says he gave the Menendez's money for a new Mercedes as part of a bribe scheme, and then they hatched a cover story to try to fool investigators. The senator and his wife deny wrongdoing. Last week, a federal judge ordered separate trials for the senator and his wife. Amid news, she has fallen ill and will require surgery and weeks of recovery. So the senator goes on trial May 6th, and documents show he might take the stand and possibly point a finger at his wife. And with his wife's separate criminal trial set for the summer and issues of spousal privilege, if the senator takes the stand and blames her, his testimony may not be admissible at his wife's later trial. No comment from federal prosecutors or attorneys for Senator Menendez or his wife. Again, the senator, in one secret court filings, says his defense may be that he is not to blame, that some of the blame may fall on his wife, Nadine. So, Jonathan, you were walking us through the timeline of when these trials were start, but there's still a big question here, right? Will Senator Menendez, in his trial, which is the first to start, will he take the stand? And that's to be determined. There have been lots of hearings, lots of motions, and these court papers suggest he wants to take the stand to try to clear his name. But again, it's the defense's call whether, once the trial begins, if he will. And then peel back the curtain a little bit for our viewers here, right? Because we got this, this reporting through uh, a court order that WNBC fought very hard to obtain, correct? Yeah, so this, these documents were sealed, first in their entirety and then in part. And so we're like, why are these black and out sections, you know, not highlighted? Why are they not public for us to see? We wrote the judge, we asked, we hired legal teams, other media organizations that joined us, and today the judge said, you have a right to see it, and uh, that's why we're reporting this tonight. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.